Hey gang, so this is a rather boxy trick that comes out of playing around with these. These are uh, kind of hand tracer moves. Uh, normally when we play around with staves, we're looking to have one or both ends stay in contact with each other, right? Um, whereas when we play around with a split time, same direction, uh, parallel time kind of feel like this, we almost always wind up with alignments where both of the thumb ends or both of the pinky ends are lined up with the position of the hand rather than the uh, the, the other end of the staff, right? Uh, which makes for uh, a great alignment for doing kind of tricky looking maneuvers like this. And it also provides an excuse for doing funky things like this. Now, this is essentially just a box that's being made out of an isolation with these uh, with, with these hand tracers associated with them. I, I, the the basic idea here is that I'm always, I'm, I'm basically always going around this circle in a clockwise fashion, at least relative to me. And whenever I do that, whichever hand is closest to the direction that I'm turning is just isolating on whichever end it has pointed that way. Now, the other staff, as this is happening, is essentially anti-spinning with the center of it uh, at the end of the staff that is not isolating. So in this case, it is my pinky end that isolates. It is my thumb end that's going up. So this other staff is going to anti-spin with its center at the thumb end, right? The one and only tricky part of this is when you go across the top, you have to make sure that, uh, so it's going to be my thumb end that isolates here on my right hand and my pinky, rather, uh, my, my left hand staff is going to anti-spin with the uh, hand as the center point of its rotation as we go around, yeah? Now, as I do that, I want to make sure that my right hand is closer to my body than my left hand. The reason being that I'm going to have to come down in the next point. That is, I'm going to be isolating around my left hand staff's thumb end. In order to do that, my right hand staff has to pass between that left hand and my body, like so. And of course, once you're there, you're home free. You're just isolating around your right hand's pinky end and anti-spinning down with your left hand, right? Um, so another way that you could think about this is say you're doing uh, an anti-spin isolation, anti-spin isolation, anti-spin isolation, anti-spin isolation with, uh, with, with each hand, uh, just chaining them together in an odd way, like you could think of it almost being the same thing as this pattern right here, just being at a point where they're matching each other up at the hand tracer point, right? So it's not that terribly difficult, but I do like the, uh, the appearance of it. And of course, I know there's some of you double staff spinners out there that are pretty big fans of working in boxes rather than diamonds. So this is a great opportunity to do that. And of course, it does give you the opportunity to shift back to the diamonds if you so choose very, very easily, right? Cool. So, uh, yeah, that's it for you guys. I will uh, see you next week. Thanks for watching. Peace.